going to be walking through NetSuite's native reporting tools, Power BI's reporting capabilities, and how we can use Power BI to report against our NetSuite data. My name is Jim Doyle, and I am your ERP coach. We'll start with NetSuite native reporting tools and kind of walk through those. And it really consists of three main areas. First is saved searches. Saved searches are gonna return sets of records or fields. Think of it almost like lists that match defined search criteria that you set up. These are used for KPIs. You can set them as reminders, put them on dashboards. And so for this, we're looking at list data, like sales orders pending fulfillment, customers that fall under a certain territory, items that fall under certain categories. Safe searches are kind of the baseline reporting tool in NetSuite. I'm logged in currently right into a NetSuite dashboard, and we can already see some safe searches here. So these portlets are safe search data. These reminders that I can drill into all have safe searches underpinning them. If I wanted to build my own safe search, I can come in, select Safe Search, and it's going to show me all the different search options I have. So if I want to look at sales by customer, for example, I'll go down to my transaction safe search type. So here's my transactions. And now I'm going to set up criteria and results that the Safe Search will return to me. So here is our Safe Search setup page. And we see we have criteria and results. These are the two main tabs we'll start with. So if we wanna look at something like sales by customer, first thing I'm gonna do is determine which type of transaction I wanna be looking at. So I'll keep it easy and we'll just look at sales orders. So I'm gonna add that as my first filter criteria. Now I have to look and see, all right, what do I wanna return as my results? I can select the fields from the sales orders that I wanna display in my results. So it's always good to start with document number or something like that. Now I'll add in our name so we can see who the customer is. Maybe I wanna see the items that they're buying so I can add that in, even the quantity and the amount. So now when I execute this, it's going to return a list of all our sales orders based on that filter criteria. And then I'm gonna have columns for each of the results that I listed out. So as long as there is a field on the transaction or record that you're searching, you can pull it into a safe search. There's a good deal of flexibility here. So that's safe searches. The next tool that we have is safe reports. These are gonna provide more of a user-friendly, uh, visually appealing view of your data and also allow you to do side-by-side -side comparative analysis if I come back into NetSuite, here's a list of all the reports that we have that come out of the box. Um, so if I wanted to look at my income statement, this is what a saved report or a report I'm looking and seeing groupings. We're looking at an income statement. So it's of course accounts and then amounts in those. And then at the bottom, I have my different filters and my column criteria. So if I want to, I can filter this by period or I can segment this by subsidiary and I can refresh it and I'm going to be able to see all my subsidiaries next to each other now. Australia, Canada, Germany, right? In each of those amounts. Again, unlike a saved search, I can do more comparative analysis here. And then the final reporting tool in that suite is going to be Suite Analytics data sets and workbooks. These are going to allow you to set up multiple joins in your data sets right in NetSuite. And then workbooks allow you to visualize that data in pivot tables and charts. So it's kind of like a light visualization tool native to NetSuite. So if I come back to my NetSuite, I'll go right into my analytics up here at the top. Again, there's a good amount that's pre-built, but if I want to just create a new data set, this so will look at our transactions. I'm going to select which elements from my transactions I want to include in this data set. So we already have you know, date, document number, right? It's kind of pulled those in for me. And now I can start to add in filters again. If I want to pull type up here, I can now filter this by, let's look at sales orders. Now our total lines are going to go down to just 300 and I've got all my sales order data. Now this is still a table, looks like a safe search, but if I want to, I can save this and then I can build a workbook off of it to visualize the data. We'll do a quick pivot table. And now I can pull in, all right, let's look at customers, 
So I'll pull in my density, and then we'll look at our total amount, and then we will column this by quarter. When I refresh this, we're gonna be able to see all those customers down here on the left of the pivot table, and then our fiscal year, and then our various quarters, you know, so I can see our amounts by quarter year over year, quarter over quarter. So again, visualization light, pivot table, uh, you can make some charts, basic line and bar charts, but it's not a very robust visualization and analytics tool. That's really where Power BI comes in. What is Microsoft Power BI? It's a unified platform for enterprise business intelligence. You can connect all your different data sources, not just NetSuite data, and integrate those so your visualizations blend your data and it makes it a lot easier to uncover true insight. Power BI really unlocks reporting. And so in a perfect world, we're able, we're able to use Power BI to report on our NetSuite data, which is where this session is going to end actually. Power BI can connect to pretty much anything. We'll use some, some CSVs as a data source. And so if I have separate feeds for customers, for invoices, for items, I can connect to those and bring them in and report against them. So in Power BI itself, we can see those tables right here, right? I've got my customers and I've got my items. That third table, invoices, I can connect to, these are all the different endpoints I can connect to. And again, there's tons of connectors out there if you don't see yours up, as well as these templates that Power BI provides for most common applications. But keeping it simple, we'll connect to a spreadsheet. I'll select my invoices. Here's that spreadsheet. And I've got, you know, customer, the item, the amount. And then I'll set up the relationship between those invoices and our customers and our items. If I go into this view, I can actually look at the columns just like if I was in a spreadsheet. So here's those various columns from our invoice table. Power BI did its best to guess how I wanted it to treat the data, but I don't want it to do, you know, count my uh, order IDs. I don't want to summarize that. I want it definitely to summarize or to count my amount so I can look at, you know, amount by customer, right? So a little bit of adjustment given what we have in our spreadsheet. And then I have to add the join. It already recognized, hey, we've got an item for our item master and our item on our invoices. There's a key, let's link those. And then I also have to link my customer. So my customer to my customer, I'll go ahead and accept that. And so now we've set up a very simple three table data model. And then from here, it's reporting on it. So now that I have my different tables and the relationships, I can pull in my customers right here. And then I can start to build visualizations off it. Here's all those different visualization options that we have available. If we want to get really crazy, I can create a map and I can use a bill to address as my location, that zip code. And so now I can see where our customers are and the bubble is going to be based on the amount on orders. And so you can start to think of all the ways you can look at geographic territories in your business. And that's just an example. Again, it's one of many different visualization options. To see some other examples, I'm going to switch over to zone reporting, which is our pre-built Power BI reporting solution for NetSuite. What we've done is we've built out the data model completely for you. So here on the right, you see those different tables. You know, we have customers, invoices, and items, but what we've done is we've added all the NetSuite standard fields, records, segments, and then we also can bring in any custom fields, custom records and segments you have. So your entire NetSuite data model is replicated in Power BI. In addition to the data model, we provide pre-built reports that come out of the box, financial overview, so I can select, you know, I can click on a customer or an item and see it filter the entire page, um, right? So I can see a quick snapshot of how our, how our company's performing. Flash reporting, so I can look at daily or weekly trends and immediately identify bottlenecks instead of waiting till it really hurts us or costs us money. Uh, volume and revenue analysis. This is a great example of a report that actually helps me make it make decisions. I can see, okay, our average revenue per unit across all our products is $677. Well, down here, I can see we've sold a ton of this card product class. So let me click on that and learn a little bit more. When I hit it, the page filters. So now I can see for that class specifically, we're above average revenue per unit. 
It's a good value. We've got a consistent value trend. I know we're selling a ton of it, so I love this product class, but we barely penetrated into our top 20 customers. So this could be an upsell or a cross-sell opportunity. And that's the idea. We get all the data working together on one page instead of flipping through 20 uh, you know, pages of reports, trying to find correlations. Here we can see it very clearly and it can inform what we need to do. NetSuite, great ERP for transactions for a lot of things, but visualizations and analytics, a little bit of a gap there. Let's step into the breach with Power BI and we'll take the three years that it takes to develop the data model off your plate. And now you can just you know, focus on building out reports from the data model um, with that live connection back to your NetSuite data. All right, thanks for joining today. If you want to see more information, including all the pre-built reports that we have for Power BI, visit zoneandco.com.